Well, the World Health Organization has issued a warning saying that drug-resistant infections, often called superbugs, are spreading at an alarming rate. The WHO says one in six bacterial infections worldwide can no longer be treated with antibiotics, threatening decades of medical progress and putting millions of lives at risk. Joining us now for more insight is Dr. Peter Chin Hong at UCSF Infectious Disease Specialist. Doctor, thank you for joining us again this morning. My pleasure, Andre. Thanks for having me on. All right, so Peter, you know, we've been hearing for years about the warning of overprescription of antibiotics and it leading uh, to what we're talking about here. Is this warning the tipping point? What is your assessment of this? Uh, it is reaching a tipping point, Andre, and we focus in the United States, but much of the antibiotic resistance is in countries around the world where the health systems are not strong enough to do surveillance to find out how much of, the, of that is a problem locally and don't have the systems to rein it in because, uh, you know, we can use very broad spectrum drugs that can kill lots of things. But if we have a specific infection, you should narrow it down to the drug that is the best fit instead of using the, the big guns. So I think that it's multifactorial and, and we use much antibiotics of the antibiotics to treat in animal pesticides to make bigger animals, but that in turn ends up jeopardizing the ability to use these drugs to treat humans. So just to summarize this, and, and based on what the, the head of the WHO is saying right now, normally when someone gets sick, you can uh, prescribe them this broad antibiotic that kind of addresses all of the issues. Uh, then, but in some cases, uh, you can prescribe a more, a drug that uh, targets this particular issue instead of using that broad antibiotic. Too much of that antibiotic is causing this resistance, right? And none of the hospitals and doctors are doing the work to uh, specifically prescribe a specific drug to treat the illness. Yes, exactly. And it requires a system to actually identify, hey, you know, right now <clears throat> you may use a different drug because we got this information back from the lab. So, it, you know, it's not just up to the individual clinician or doctor it requires that system to really know it might be a problem and then intervene with the information through an el electronic medical record. So that's why it's hard to do around the world. Mm. And, and that's why, for example, when some people have urinary tract infections now in the outpatient setting, uh, there may be no pills that you can take and you may have to go in uh, to get an intravenous drug. And is that better than, than, than this broader antibiotic for, for something like you just mentioned? Yeah, because when you take a broad antibiotic uh, for something that you can use a narrower antibiotic for, it kills lots of the other uh, healthy bacteria around and creates an environment where the other bugs are, can proliferate in the presence of this bug when you're not even treating it. So the next time it causes disease, uh, it would have figured out some tricks to outsmart that bug. Uh, you know, bugs and bacteria are very smart. It's been a long-term problem ever since penicillin, mm -hmm. because right now you can't even use penicillin for lots of things, and that's because it's been a back and forth between humans and bacteria. How bad is the problem here in the, in the U.S.? I mean, we hear from the World Health Organization, but is the problem also as pronounced here? Yeah, so even though most of uh, the big hotspots are Southeast Asia, parts of uh, Eastern Europe and Africa, in the United States, it's a huge problem. Um, I would say in general about one in four, one in five uh, bacteria in the hospital uh, is multi-drug resistant. In fact, most of them live in the hospital. That's why we want to keep people away from the hospital as much as possible because when you're vulnerable, you're in the hospitalized setting, you can be exposed to many of these bugs that develop superpowers because they have been seeing a lot of antibiotics used locally in that environment. Well, a warning there and, uh, you know, check with your doctor for more specific uh, medicines to treat your illness uh, instead of going for the quick fix with the antibiotic. Uh, Dr. Peter Chin Hung from UCSF, thank you so much for joining us and providing your insight into this issue this morning. Something happening around the world, something we have to watch out for here at home as well. We appreciate it. Thanks so much, Andre. All right.